Welcome to Tekidia Daily. I'm WC Kekwe. A conversation today will focus on Bitcoin blockchain and how Nigeria can utilize the opportunity inherent in these technologies to become a center where the world can come and play and do these business elements legally. You know, over the last few years, we have seen the opportunities which are emerging in the global financial sector. With the arrival of Bitcoin, a digital currency in which encryption te techniques are used to regulate the generation of Unix currency and verify the transfer of funds without necessarily within the construct of the central bank. You know, one thing that drives this construct is that in the digital world, we could do so many things faster, better, without any specific central bank controlling it. You know, it's a very scary construct when suddenly you are trying to say that there is this kind of money where the central bank is not necessarily in control. And also, um, besides the Bitcoin, there is the technology architecture that makes it possible. And that is really where the key value is. Call a digital ledger in which transactions made in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency are recorded chronologically and publicly. I want to see how we can legalize Bitcoin and then facilitate the process of making sure that this kind of currency they become a domain within our country. We are the world we see. This is a place where you can go and do this illegally. And as we do that, we're going to see an acceleration of different subsects within the blockchain. For example, the distributed apps that actually depend on the blockchain to function. We see this acceleration of innovation through the certainty of the law. And now Nigeria can become a blockchain nation. There are so many benefits. And there are a lot of roadmaps that we have to map as a country to make this work. And if we get it right, companies will come here to set up institutions, entities, in order to participate in this type of business legally. They'll come with money. They'll pay taxes. They can also drive the FDI, foreign direct investment in the country. And as they begin to do that, we have to structure, make it possible for them to structure legally binding decentralized apps powered by blockchain. You know, these dApps, basically what they do is that they match the counterparties with no intermediary applicable in the area of trading, insurance, in anything that involves contracts and also be used in transportation, banking. And other fields. You know, when the Nigerian law wrecks upon it, we are going to see an acceleration of growth. And we are going to see the world understand that there is a national entity that has actually embraced these technologies to have a lot of benefits to us. You know, I propose that we don't necessarily just stop at Bitcoin. We have to create our own as a country, a non it will be tied to the dApps registered in Nigeria so that every contract that any institution is entering within the regulatory framework of Nigeria must be denominated in a NACON. And then we also require for the Nigerian Stock Exchange to allow the ICO, initial coin offering. And that will be done within the powers of the Security and Exchange Commission. You know, the world can come to Nigeria Stock Exchange and trade legal cryptocurrency systems and currencies. And I also make sure that their global contracts necessitated by blockchain dApps are within all the necessary protections of the Federal Republic of Nigeria legally. And if you do that, we will see an amalgam, I will say, of opportunity. People looking to take advantage of this disruptive revolutionary technology and then we come to the country. You see, whether we like it or not, this is going to be the technology of the future. And if earlier we embrace it, because the United States and some of the leading nations in the world, they have failed to lead in this area. There is nothing that says that we cannot take leadership to drive it. And I'm confident there is an opportunity that exists for us to live throughout the world.
you are listening to Take Media Day.